So NAC or N-acetylcysteine is a semi-essential amino acid that can be made from L-serine and methionine. It is the stable form of the non-essential amino acid called cysteine, which helps uh, regulate certain metabolic functions and helps with the pr creation of proteins and collagens. When ingested, NAC is converted to L-cysteine, which is an important precursor of the most powerful antioxidant in our bodies, glutathione. It is one of the most popular nutrients researched in the biohacking sphere. NAC has been mostly used for lung function, liver detox, and neuroprotection. All of this comes with potential anti-aging benefits and at the end we'll explain why is NAC a preferred method for increasing glutathione. If you want to increase the antioxidant power of your body, including foods rich in cysteine, NAC or glutathione can directly help bump up this antioxidant defense status. Cysteine rich foods include yogurt, turkey, liver, beef and eggs. Potent sources of NAC are onion and garlic while avocados, okra, spinach, turmeric, and broccoli are rich in glutathione. So to understand the importance of antioxidants, I need to provide you with some context around inflammation. Performing any metabolic functions, which basically means being alive, is going to create free radicals and increase inflammation and oxidative stress. In a relatively healthy, bodily environment, this is okay because we can neutralize those free radicals and maintain some sort of homeostasis or equilibrium. But during times of stress or intense exercise or being overworked, overwhelmed, overeating, undersleeping, all of this throw this homeostasis off. And so during such an unhealthy lifestyle or period of our life, we tend to increase DNA damage and oxidative stress and inflammation. And this is basically the opposite of anti-aging. It is the culprit of aging which speeds up aging, DNA damage and all these things related to developing disease, etc. So in order to slow this damage down, we tend to look into antioxidants or similar compounds that can facilitate antioxidant kind of defense mechanisms in the body. With so much pollution and toxins and low quality food and radiation, biohackers widely argue that in today's era in the modern world, antioxidants can actually be used as a viable tool to reduce the speed of aging. Now let's hop on to the science of NAC and glutathione. NAC is the preferred method of supplementing to increase glutathione. Why? because oral administration of glutathione is quickly broken down and doesn't cross the blood-brain barrier. Cysteine alone isn't effective at restoring glutathione levels as it oxidizes fast. Best bet seems to be supplementing NAC, reaching peak plasma levels in 1-2 to two hours. The liver is the largest organ in the body, responsible for performing certain vital functions, controlling glucose levels, amongst which removing or flushing out toxins is one of the most important functions. Liver detox basically is about protecting the liver and enhancing its function, and its function is reducing metabolic weight, heavy metals, protecting our bodies from toxins and drugs, and basically detoxifying, providing some sort of an internal cleanse. And glutathione is the master antioxidant in the body secreted by the liver. When we're stressed or sick or we live in a suboptimal or unhealthy period of our lives, we tend to deplete glutathione levels fast. This is why adding NAC or N-acetylcysteine, which acts as a precursor to L-cysteine, which acts as a precursor to glutathione, can be helpful. Research supports NAC's hepatoprotective role as it binds to toxic metabolites and scavenges free radicals. NAC has also been used to facilitate detoxification from certain toxins in pharmaceutical drugs, namely acetaminophen. So in terms of brain health, antioxidants like glutathione help reduce oxidative stress, damage and inflammation in the brain. This can slow down the progression of certain neurodegenerative diseases. The second thing is, glutathione or NAC can affect the levels of two key neurotransmitters, glutamate, which is essential for executive function and cognition because it's a excitatory type of neurotransmitter, 
The second one is dopamine, which is crucial for motivation, feelings of pleasure and satisfaction. Why is this important? Because by reducing inflammation in the brain, improving the oxidative homeostasis, increasing levels of glutamate and dopamine can help potentially prevent or slow down neurodegenerative brains going into Alzheimer's or Parkinson's disease. As low dopamine and glutamate are both linked to depression and poor cognition. Research suggests mitochondrial dysfunction is linked to depression, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, autism, and dopamine and glutamate deficiency contributes to such psychiatric diseases. Potentially, NAC with its antioxidant properties and modulation of dopamine and glutamate may aid in improving brain health and protect the brain. Fourth, the potential to improve mitochondrial function and consequentially aid in anti-aging. So improving mitochondrial function allows us to be more efficient at producing ATP or energy plus use and utilize oxygen better to reduce this inflammation and oxidative stress. This is one of the targets that most biohackers are obsessed with when they're trying to go towards the path of longevity. Why? Because Facilitating recovery is the exact opposite of degradation, which means aging. In animal models, NAC was shown to increase glutathione levels, improve mitochondrial function, and delay motor deficits. For more studies, check the links in the description below. NAC can improve oxygen delivery to tissues, boost mitochondrial ATP production, and adjust the microvascular tone to increase blood flow to vital organs. NAC can also affect athletic performance as it affects lung function and recovery. So exercise in itself is a physiological stressor that increases inflammation. Under normal circumstances, our bodies are training the uh, ability to fight and produce antioxidants or stimulate these systems so we can fight against the inflammation and oxidative stress. So in a way, exercise is a good stressor. But whenever our health is a bit out of whack and we overtrain or undersleep, as we've said before, glutathione levels are depleted and we need more NAC or glutathione to replace this and recover faster. Another factor is breathing rate and lung function. So one of the main uses of NAC is mucus thinning because it thins out the mucus in the lung, potentially allowing for easier breathing. This is why it has been used in asthma. Theoretically, this may improve a lung function, which can serve as a potential tool to enhance aerobic function, so different activities like running, jumping, swimming, hiking, which require the work of respiratory system or respiration for an improved performance. Research shows NAC improved force output by 15% after 3 minutes of repetitive contractions, showcasing the potential to improve muscle performance uses those side effects in foods. So first of all, of course, you want to consult your doctor or medical specialist before using this or any other supplement for the safety, proper dosage and proper protocol. NAC has been mostly used as a liver detox tool. Then it has been used for mucus thinning and improving respiration. It has been also used for cognition and neuroprotection. And finally, for potential reduction in inflammation. The common dose is about 600 milligrams and some sources cite a take in about 600 to 1800 milligrams uh, divided into two to three doses daily. I take about 600 milligrams four days a week just as a protective measure and if I feel I'm a bit sicklish I may increase the dose. Another thing you should consider is it smells bad. It smells like rotten eggs and I think it's due to the uh, sulfur content that uh, NAC has in. Bullet points. So NAC is a semi-essential amino acid, a precursor to L-cysteine, which helps create and synthesize glutathione, the master antioxidant in the body. It is used for liver detox and protection as one of the main uses. It has a potential role in anti-aging due to its potential to enhance mitochondria function and affect oxidative homeostasis. It may assist in enhancing brain function by increasing dopamine, glutamine, and may aid in neuroprotection, potentially. The role of NAC and glutathione are especially important during times of increased physiological stress, 
like toxins, intense exercise, sickness, mental stress, undersleeping, etc. To learn more about this and check the research in depth, check out the article we've written at Vital Sen. Supplements are getting a lot of attention lately, so I don't know if we should shift more towards reviewing such things. Comment down in the description below. That was all for me today. Bye.